Virtually every department in state government uses the sophisticated services provided by the centralized computer center located in the state archives building. Frequently, police receive only a partial plate number from someone who has witnessed a crime. The computers can quickly provide a list of all vehicle registrations in the area containing that combination. The latest missing child, Larry Rogers, was last seen getting into a car on Saturday. Now, a witness provided the task force with a partial plate number. But officials at the Department of Motor Vehicles say that although the task force has used their services in the past, they haven't heard from them lately. Over at the Department of Motor Vehicles, Assistant Director Clint Moy told me the task force has yet to request a printout on the partial plate number provided by the witness who last saw Larry Rogers. The procedure doesn't cost the city anything and can be done quickly. And uh, I would say at the most uh, four hours the data could be provided. Moy cautions, however, that the task force may still be checking out the tags with their own files provided by his office, although those records may be outdated. In many cases, they work with the copy we give them, trying to uh, get leads and maybe solving the problem from the data they have. And then once, uh, if that fails, then they'll come to us and we'll try to provide them with additional data. According to Police Chief George Knapper, the task force has indeed received a printout from motor vehicles. He says they have the list of cars with the letter and number spotted on the license tag of the car in which Larry Rogers was last seen. The two other workers in the Department of Administration Services, which handles the computer operation, agreed with Moy and told me the task force hasn't made such a request in weeks. For Good Morning Atlanta, I'm John McKnight.